What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than me just playing games and all that. We're actually gonna be doing a little more of an educational type video today where I'll be putting you guys through my whole workout. The key with skill work is to try to implement drills that'll translate directly into games. You see all these kids trying to do all these fancy drills and ball handling, when in reality, you gotta put yourself in scenarios that you'll get faced with in the game. That's how you really get better. I like to categorize my workouts into you know four or five basic segments. So ball handling and the form shooting, and then I like to go into game moves, and then I like to finish with some conditioning shooting, and then conditioning at the end. So like I said, I'm gonna start out with some ball handling. It's really just to get the blood moving. You can basically do whatever you want. I don't put a lot of pressure on the drills I do. It's mainly just getting the blood flowing and keeping the handles crisp. First, I like to start out with some one ball drills. And then after one ball, I go right into two. So after ball handling, I like to go right into form shooting. I start close, work my way out. This is really about just keeping the form crisp and making sure my form is good to go. At the end, we'll do some more movement shooting and all that. At this wedding, the groom took a dance with his mom, swaying back and forth, giving her a prompt she never had. This her favorite song. This man was still a son. This dance could never tear the bond. They shared a moment in the stars. After form shooting at the three spots, I go right in the hand stuff shooting. I'm just getting the ball in my shooting pocket, working on catching it quick and then getting it up. I was out of tissues and I thought to ask the dudes. Then I realized they were just like robots, but wearing shoes. No expression. These are called pound stuffs. So it's good for off the dribble. Trying to hold it in, they mentioned that was really nice. I'm looking at him crazy. That was more than nice. That was beautiful. The wild thing is this kind of behavior is the usual. For us now, I see the pain is... Now we got elbow to elbow shooting. This is working on stepping into the shot. Have been shut down. Just catch a touchdown instead of feelings. What good is tough it out if you never find some Time to be a tough guy, tough love. Now same thing, we're going off the bounce. Touch, tough love, you'll never see me break down with my face drowning and all of my pain now we're gonna go right into three range shooting this is really just keeping the form nice and crisp and still getting loose Now that we got some shooting out of the way, got some form stuff out of the way, we're gonna get into some game-like moves. We're gonna do some more shooting workouts at the end, but we're gonna get into the game-like simulation stuff now. So where I'm a PGE, a lot of my reads in games are coming off a ball screen. So we're gonna focus on three reads today off the ball screen. When they go under, when they go over, and when they switch. When they go under, I'm pulling up for the three. When they go over, I'm pausing and bursting out for a layup. And then when they switch, I got a size up match up on a big. Waiting for the big to leave and then I'm going. The key with this read is to pause your go until you see the big try to recover and then that's when you burst. I also like to throw some floaters in there because if the big really does a shallow hedge, that's going to be the shot I'm going to take. So now we're gonna get a switch with the big. Here I'm really working on, because this is a weakness I'm trying to implement into my game, is when I get that switch, being able to create separation for the three. So we're gonna work on a lot of that today. Obviously, if the big's all up in you, then you can just blow by him. But for the purpose of the drill today, and what I'm trying to work on, we're gonna work on some three balls. All right, so that concludes the game reps. So now we're gonna go back in the shooting, but we're gonna be moving this time to get some conditioning in as well. Working on shooting when we're tired. First drill we got is called corner round shooting. We gotta make seven out of 10 from corner to corner. Second one's called consequence shooting, and you guys will see that one when we get to it.
Ah, eight out of 10. Now we're moving on to the next row. If you don't get seven, you gotta stay on it. Now we got consequence shooting. I really don't like this one, but it's great for moving off the ball and getting some conditioning in as well as shooting. So this drill, I got five spots. I gotta make three from each spot. If I make it, I go one spot and back. If I miss it, I go two spots and back. So I'm constantly moving, constantly getting shots up when I'm tired and have a little pressure on the shot as well. Now we're back in the free throws. Gotta make them when we're tired. All right, so that's a pretty good workout. We've been in here for 45 minutes. This is the thing with skill workout. You see a lot of kids in here for an hour and a half, two hours, but barely getting any work in. You can get in the gym and do these drills and get a quality workout in for under like 45 minutes. Now we're gonna finish off with our conditioning drill. It's full court layups, I absolutely hate it, but it does get you in shape. We started out at four and now we're up to eight this summer and we work our way up every week. So this is gonna finish out the video, last row of the day. <laughs> 